Hello friends, this video on neat evolution is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. What is biogenetic law? So this law in simple words states that ontogeny repeats phylogeny. So what do we mean by ontogeny? So ontogeny is that branch of science which deals with the study of life history of an organism. That is how an organism develops, how an organism is formed and then how it develops from a very tiny one and gradually grows to become a mature individual and then finally it you know, kind of ages out. So ontogeny is about the entire life history of an organism. So during the lifespan of an organism, what are the stages it goes through? So that is ontogeny. So it talks about life history of an organism. And what is phylogeny? So phylogeny talks about the evolutionary history of the race of an organism. Now what do we mean by evolutionary history? That means how that particular organism evolved. So uh, there is a difference between the two. So when we talk about ontogeny, it is life history of one particular organism. Like as long as the organism is living, what are the stages it goes through? When we talk about phylogeny, it doesn't talk about one individual organism. It talks about a group of organisms, how those organisms were formed, who were their ancestors, who were their ancestors and so on. So the entire evolutionary history is phylogeny. Now, what do we mean by ontogeny repeats phylogeny? So it means that an organism repeats its ancestral history during its development. So development is basically the life history. So as an organism uh, goes through its life, let's take the example of human beings. Now, when a human being is formed, it, it stays, the child stays inside the mother's womb. Now, gradually the child develops the different body parts and that's how it, it keeps growing. It, it finally, when it is grown enough, it comes out of the mother's womb and then uh, giving proper nutrition to the child, the child grows gradually to become a mature individual. And again, you know, it kind of reaches the old age and so on. Now, during this entire life history, the organism repeats its answer ancestral history. So the name, this, this name biogenetic law was given by Ernst Haeckel. So this name was given by Ernst Haeckel. Now a lot of time uh, students feel that Ernst Haeckel was the, uh, was the one who originally gave this law. But that's not true. This law was originally given by another scientist named Von Baer. And after his name it was called as the Baer's law. But later, this Bayer's law was renamed as biogenetic law by Ernst Haeckel. So now let us take an example to understand what do we mean by ontogeny repeats phylogeny. So let us take the example of development of a frog. So if you look at the life cycle or the life history of a frog, it passes through many different stages and tadpole is one fish-like tailed larva which is a stage in the development or the life cycle of a frog. So you see this is the tadpole stage. Now, when you look at the tadpole, look at the structure of the tadpole. So the tadpole has a tail. It resembles more to a fish than to a frog. So even though it resembles a fish, it has a tail, right? But later, as it gradually grows, it comes out to, a, to be a frog, right? So what is this? What does it show? It just tries to show that this is the entire life history of frog. but during its life history, it tries to show the evolutionary history that frogs were evolutionary connected in from the evolution perspective, frogs and the fishes, they are connected somewhere. So frogs also have a tail within them. But it is just that it gets reduced by the time the frog reaches its adult phase. So this shows the evolutionary relationship between a frog and a fish. So that is what is meant by ontogeny repeats phylogeny. Similarly, if you take example of a chordate, so there is a chordate named Herdmania. So there also, if you look at the tadpole stage, it shows the characters of a chordate, like the presence of notochord, presence of tail, presence of nervous system. However, as it grows to become uh, the adult form of Herdmania, the notochord is not present, the tail is not present, the nervous system is also reduced. So what it means is during the developmental phase, 
at certain stages it resembles the evolutionary history however maybe in the matured state it is all those features are gone but still the life history cycle it shows the evolutionary history of that organism and that is why we say ontogeny repeats phylogeny thank you please visit examfear.com for free quality education you can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons you can ask your questions you can refer notes and you can take a free online test we have content for class 6 to 12 on physics chemistry mathematics and biology along with practical videos so please subscribe to our channel for daily updates thank you